Hi guys, today we're going to be taking an in-depth review at Turtle Wax's ceramic spray sealant. Now I know what you're thinking, have I done this before? Yes, I have. I did it quite a long time ago. Didn't quite go to plan because it was the first time I was using it and I probably didn't give it a fair enough crack. So today I'm going to be covering some of the pros and some of the cons about using this product. let's take a look at the car that I've chosen for this experiment now this is a Tesla Model X and the reason I've chosen this one is because it's got black paint and we all know that Tesla paints not really the best to work with if you're doing this for a living so this is going to give you guys a great chance to see how it looks and how the product bonds to their paint in my previous video I did a two bucket safe wash on the car and I wanted to keep it separate so I could solely focus on the turtle wax ceramic sealant today and I want to show you guys exactly how to get rid of those pesky streaks that you may find on darker coloured paintwork. After I finished performing the clean, I then followed up by giving it a clay bar, followed by a Meguiar's Ultimate Compound before applying the ceramic sealant. And this gave me a better surface to work on. And I will jump in straight away and say, look, I wasn't machine polishing this all day. I'm a mobile guy, I was under a tight schedule. I was fitting it in within the client's budget so I didn't spend hours and hours on end doing all the paintwork. I just wanted to tidy it up a little bit so the surface will be good to apply the product. So now you need to make sure that you've got plenty of towels to hand. Now this is a common thing that people previously said in other videos and I saw it in the comment section as well. They were saying they were only using one cloth or one towel to do the job. It's not enough. So for today I've got one, two, three and I've got a brand new one right here. To play it safe I'm using four towels today so I've got enough to get around the whole car. I'm not saying you have to use four at once but I'm saying if I do two towels for one side of the car then use two fresh ones for another side of the car I've got absolutely no excuses. I'm going to have a guess here and say most of you don't actually care what streaking is you just want to know how to get it off and that's what we're all about today and that's what this channel is all about so if you haven't clicked the subscribe button then please go ahead and do so because we try to simplify the entire process of car cleaning and make life a lot easier for you. I will also mention that in the end I opted for five towels if you include the damp one which I'll now explain why you need to have one by your side. So these were those streaks that everybody kept going on about. They kept saying they're getting them and they were looking horrible on black cars. And they're right, they're not very good to look at. So what you've got to do is get your damp towel, give it a wipe, and we're not going to go over there because we've still got to spray the rest of the, the bonnet. So just give it a wipe with a damp towel. Crisscross it, flip it over. Then take your dry towel which will be your buffing towel. And just gently take it off. As you can see from the footage, I'm starting to spread it with the applicator towel and it's starting to streak. But I think once you get that worry out of your head that you've done something wrong, you can actually power through it. So I think psychologically, as soon as you see those streaks, you initially think, oh, I want to give up, but you've just got to carry on and everything comes together nicely. While I'm applying this product, let me tell you about some of the pros and some of the cons. Some of the pros of this turtle wax include 6 to 12 months protection and it can be layered. It's also got a UV protection and it's very durable against maintenance washes. And by the time the product's actually cured, you are going to get an incredibly high gloss once it's finished. I now want to talk about some of the cons and there's only a couple here to go through so the first thing I want to say is the streaks and look they are a problem especially if you're brand new to car cleaning and it does happen on lighter cars you just don't see it because of the light bouncing off as you saw in my silver Volvo video I did a couple of months ago I actually tested this out to see how it would work on lighter cars and it pretty much passed all the tests but that's because I just couldn't see those smears because of the light being so intense just bouncing off the silver paint. And one of the other minor negative things that I will mention is the fact that if this product is aimed at mobile car cleaners, it's not going to be the quickest to apply. But if you're a weekend warrior and you've got time on your side and you can do it all day, then obviously it's not going to be much of a problem for you. But like I said, if you're a mobile car valet, you do run under very tight schedules. So you have to get in, get out. This might not be the best product if you're going to be looking at it for that route. Now the bonnet's done, it's fair to say that applying this wasn't exactly the easiest thing to do. However, don't look at it as a negative thing because I've actually got 
some pretty impressive results just from the bonnet. I'm now going to do the rest of the car because I want to sort of follow this through just to see what it's like on other panels and just to give you guys an idea of what a black car can really look like once you've applied this turtle wax ceramic spray on it. I've got a couple of power tips for you right here. So the first one is hot panels burn so don't do it in hot weather as it burns some of the ingredients instantly within a split second. Always use fresh, clean, brand new cloths every single time you use this. You don't want to get any of those smears. If you don't want that to happen, make sure you go for clean, brand new ones. Like That is the rule you cannot afford to miss. You have to have clean, fresh cloths. You will need four to five per car, not going to lie, but it's the only way you're going to get it done without having to faff about worrying about those pesky streaks. And don't use too much product either because once you've oversaturated the towels they then become useless and the more you wipe the more you're actually putting back onto the paintwork so it's always good just to do a little bit at a time and that's why i emphasize the fact you need about four to five towels or cloths to do the job well if you want to get the very best results make sure you use an applicator pad you can see right here i'm using a towel a towel is completely fine but i'm just saying if you want to get the very best results use a pad You may already know this one, but another power tip is the fact that the paintwork must be perfectly clean, must be completely decontaminated. So the whole process can be a bit start-stoppy and you do get that with other ceramic spray sealants as well. So it ain't just this one. As you can see, look, there's a couple of streaks in there. A real top tip for you, I will say, is label your cloths or number them. So you have cloth number one, which is your stage one where you start spreading the product around, then keep cloth number two for your buffing off. That way you sort of don't lose track and you don't start cross-contaminating them because you'll find once you get too much product on one and you're trying to buff it off, it becomes really problematic. It can be a nightmare and you're just smearing it all around and then at that point you sort of just want to give up. So do make sure you sort of label your cloths one and two when you're doing this. I just want to show you another quick thing while we're here. This is a common thing that you're going to find and you just get water dripping off, unless you've got a car dryer to sort of deal with it and get things done, which probably most of you won't have. You may think that water is an enemy, but believe me, it's not. Water is your friend, especially when it comes to applying this stuff. So don't think for one second that water is gonna increase the risk of actually getting any more smears or anything, because it simply won't do that. So ideally this car's got to stay dry as long as possible after you've applied the product. The thing is I wanted to do a quick water test just to show you guys exactly what it looks like and how the water sort of beads down and it was working pretty well as you can see from the footage here it does just shoot off and the beads were looking quite nice. So during the summer I did a video, it was my first ever time using it, it was probably the wrong idea because I didn't really give it a practice, I didn't give it a fair crack before I even decided to start filming. It was just get the camera up, film it and I was having a shocking day and it was so hot as well. And bearing in mind that car had been out, well I think it had been out in the direct sunlight all day and we had one of the hottest days of the year. So I'm not going to recommend that you put it in crazy heat because I don't think everybody's going to sort of have the skill set to be able to do it and make it look good. I mean, it's not impossible, don't get me wrong, but I think if you're a beginner using this, I think you've got to sort of study your car a bit more, get to know your paintwork that you're working with, what it's going to bond to, get it machine polished, get it clay barred, proper decon. If you really don't want to go through those steps, then I suggest you try something like the seal and shine, something that's a lot easier to apply where you can spray it wipe it and job done. You're still going to get great results whether you get this or you go for the seal and shine. So just take a look at it. It looks absolutely brilliant. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed and I'm, I'm pleased I've done this because it just shows you that even the temperature can be a major factor of whether you love it or hate it. Now like I said I've done other videos on it, they've actually gone now. If you try and find them you're just not going to be able to. But it was so interesting, all the comments people were putting, everybody was saying oh we hate it, it smears, it's a mess. 
but I think once you learn the process and you sort of get the hang of it and it becomes more natural, it does get a lot easier to apply. Don't make the mistake that I did in my previous video earlier on in the year. Make sure that you give it a go and stick, stick it out because honestly, you're going to get really good results at the end of the day. I think you're going to be impressed about it. And also like when we did the water test as well, it just flew off. In terms of protection, it's really good. In terms of the glossiness, it's really good. So look, I haven't got a problem with it. At the end of the day, it looks great. It's going to give it a bit of protection protection now i've only done one layer so i don't know whether i'm going to be able to get 12 months out of one layer it does say on the bottle that you have to apply another coat 24 hours later so this could be a real deal breaker if you're a mobile valeter and you have to drive an hour to someone's house to apply it the first layer you can't then say look i'm going to come back tomorrow because what if you get torrential rain you get bits of sticks and stuff all blowing on the car if they haven't got a garage so think about that if you are going to use it make sure you're clear to the client and say look you're gonna get a guaranteed six months out of it. Whether you've got any more than that, I just don't know. So there you have it, one complete car. And don't forget, if you love ceramic videos, we've done one on Yum Ceramic, we've done Brilliance by Bear Car Care, we've done CS3 by Garage Therapy, and we've also done Meguiar's Ceramic Liquid Wax. So if you love videos like that, don't forget to go and check them out and I'll put a link in the description below. And just before we go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications so you never miss another video. And I'll catch you next week as we're going to be exploring another messy vehicle.